y'all are in two such separate markets, but really almost the same market, you know, second yeah. home, weekend home, and maybe eventually permanent home. morning, y'all. Today, I'm so happy to be visiting with our top producer in Galveston, Jim Rosenfeld, and our top producer in country properties, Linda Plant. There seems to be a great demand for homes in both of your areas. I'm just curious, are people buying these homes for weekend homes, or are they buying these homes to move into permanently? Well, we've got both. We've got people looking for weekend homes, and a lot of the folks are thinking that the weekend home could become a permanent home at a later date. You've also got people looking at lots, looking to build, but not ready to take the step quite yet. If they're looking for, say, a second home, like a weekend home that they can eventually move into, what are their must-haves? What do they have to have in these homes? Is it the same as in the city or maybe not, maybe totally different? The first criteria is going to be the location. So are we looking at beachfront, bayfront, because we want to have a boat, or are we looking at a high rise where we're going to be able to enjoy block and leave living? You've also got the historic district. So you've got so many different choices and everybody seems to be honing in on something different. It really depends on who the person is as to what the specific need is. Linda, what about you and country properties? Well, I always jokingly say that everyone is looking for a live oak tree, a big hill with a view and a pond. So that's what they want. Uh, you know, they, they want pretty. So basically they want a pretty property. Then a big plus would be to have a updated farmhouse. Our inventory is really, really low. So those things have been hard to come by recently. So they've had to make some adjustments or expand their search. Do you find people paying cash for the most part or are they taking advantage of a 2.5% interest rate and just borrowing the money? Even though they have the cash, they'll borrow the money. I just had a $2 million transaction where the buyer could have paid cash many, many times over, but he said he could not pass up those interest rates. He said, I just can't do it. So that is happening in, in my market too. The people that you would think could write a check with not a problem, they want to finance because of the cost of money is so much lower. Thanks for visiting with me today. Thank you. Thank you. We enjoyed it. Oh, good. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. We'll do it again. Thanks, y'all.